Welcome back to more Night of the Full Moon. We are here with our Nun Prayer build on Nightmare Difficulty, having taken all five of the Difficulty Up challenges. With that, we're going to show if exactly how effective the prayer deck is. This is definitely not the best prayer build we've done, but it is up there for its sheer power of healing and we're going to see that in just a moment so if you want to get the deck breakdown make sure you stick around till the end i'll be going over each of the key players in this deck that are making it work but you can already see we are absolutely piling on the prayer cards and what we are doing is really making sure that we have as many uh, prayer ticks as we can. Every prayer tick is going to add uh, a stack of penance or confession and that's going to really be what gets us through. We also heal uh, thanks to our vampire codex um, for every five damage we do I believe it is we'll heal one and this is very important. You can see that we are already up to a significant amount of penance and really the forest spirit doesn't have much of a chance on dealing with us with 120 penance uh, going through it will resurrect but we're going to be just fine what we're going to be doing from here hopefully we'll get our scepter we did not but that's okay what we got is ultimately a card that will allow us to get free prayers on the field and we have all those additional ticks. We're up to 135 penance. And really that is just an amazing amount of healing just from the penance. Not even including the actual heals. We're going to go ahead and end our turn. Do that 149 damage. We have a lot going on. Uh, we're going to be getting additional blessings up in this next turn. Oh, we got our Holy Scepter. Maybe a bit late. Uh, let's do our Bane. And then we'll play that. That should do it for us, I believe. Nope. He has two health left, so we'll just hit him. And at this point, I'm going to be quiet for those who haven't seen this. This is a very decent cutscene. And for those of you who saw our prediction video, this shouldn't come as any surprise. We saw that Grandma was safe, we saw Red was safe, but there was no sign of Jerry, and really the werewolf uh, ended up sacrificing himself. It was uh, short but sweet, and I think that for those of us who have played along, we've rather enjoyed ourselves here. Now, of course, we have our uh, Falling Stones, our Divine Portrait, which is key for this. Double the Gospel, and so with that, the Rebirth Prayer, Bane of Doom, uh, Peek into the Future, our Holy Scepter, and, of course, our uh, Dark Baron, Melancholy, Plague, and Withered Movements to increase the difficulty of the game. So that is our Nightmare Difficulty with our Nun deck. Now, if you want to see a full playthrough with the nun, let me know below. If you want to see more of these short and sweet videos where we go over exactly what strategy I use to defeat Nightmare Difficulty with this spirit beast, then let me know that too. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed yourself. If you want to catch more videos just like this, consider subscribing. And if you particularly feel generous, then maybe even like the video down below. I am Nidanoski. And as always, have fun.